let's see, what motivated me to sign up for the library? A couple different things. Here's the, here's the bulleted list. One is I'm always looking for ways that I can pay more attention to my physical being and my physical health um, in, in ways that like circumvent my resistance. This is a way that I could just integrate things really easily into my day. And also I've been interested in Feldenkrais. I've heard little bits and pieces over the years and then I've learned a lot more about it from you and just love the spirit of it. Because it's not so focused on like fixing yourself and improving yourself and all those things, but it's really about curiosity and imagination and learning, like that really aligns with the things that I can feel good about doing and not like it's being, you know, being a good doobie and being on a diet or something like that. Right. Illnesses that I have um, make it really tricky and really challenging for me to do any kind of rigorous exercise. So then I end up deciding just not doing anything. Like I just get very sedentary. Mm -hmm. And so it seems like starting slow with a lot of listening and awareness and then moving towards more exercise again, mm -hmm. as opposed to like, you know, having some unattainable goal. The gentleness. Uh, first, I ask myself how much time I think I have. And then I go to that time period. And then I look for something that feels like my body would be asking for it today. And yeah, it's just kind of whatever strikes me. It's sort of like pulling a tarot card or something. Yeah. Like with, I feel like with each of the lessons, I've had kind of a moment within the lesson that makes me notice something about my body later. Like this morning, there was a moment where he had us, he had me like sit on my hand and sort of like feel around the bone. Um, and pay attention to the bone and then pull my hand out and notice how much lighter that whole side felt than the other side. Mm -hmm. And that kind of was striking and stunning to me. Mm -hmm. So I did notice actually, this is, it's so funny. You don't, you don't think that you've been thinking about something, but you have. I did notice that I was more, I was sitting more in the front of my chair for the rest of the day today and, and kind of wiggling. That's because they've each had a moment. They've each had an aha moment. What's a feeling that you get when you think about the library, you go to the library. Mm. Space, spaciousness. It feels like the way you've organized it and the way your colors are and your drawings and your, just your voice always feels spacious and like just spacious and, okay, can I say more than one word? Yeah, sure. Okay. Spacious, generous, and playful would be the three words off the top of my head right now. I feel hopeful about it, <laughs> you know, um, and I really appreciate that. Like, I really appreciate this feeling. I think this is part of the spaciousness that, like, there's all these different ways, you know, like, there's these different ways to search based on where I'm at, you know. So, like, these days I've been searching based on time because that's my biggest resistance and so if I can inch my way in through the little time category mm -hmm. um, but you know like this morning I looked at all the other drop down lists and I was like hmm I'm gonna try that someday I'm gonna try that someday so it's something like and that's the generous part like it feels like there's a, there's a bunch of different ways in mm. and they're creative and beautiful ways in and there's the sense of, you know, behind those little lists of words, there's all these resources, there's all these recordings. And it's just this sense that there's this big abundant pile of resource for me to dip into in these kind of easy, fun ways. And I really appreciate that because, you know, as I've said 10 other times on this call, I have resistance to big commitments around this stuff and to time commitments. And so, um, it feels accessible, it feels really accessible for someone who can barely ever get to a yoga class or an acupuncture treatment or whatever. Mm, very cool. Very I also appreciate, so you, you also, you balance like this accessibility and like, you know, writing and images and design that are, that feel really easy to navigate and understand. And there's all these places to go deeper into the philosophical and intellectual and you know like there's that sense of the depth of your history and experience and of the of the discipline of Feldenkrais there so you know the kind of artistry and 
study behind it is also present. Like it doesn't have that feeling of anything being dumbed down for anybody. And there I am doing Feldenkrais without knowing anything about it. How cool. <laughs> so I appreciate all of that. It's rad what you're doing. It's really beautiful.